I stopped trying to get the bag because I am the bag. Hey, what's up? My name is Kendra J. I'm from Sacramento, California. I come from a dance background, so I not only sing, I songwrite, I choreograph, and I entertain. I like to define my singing style as sweet but street, gentle, raspy voice on my records, but I'm still guaranteed to get on the record and talk my shit. I was about five or six when I found myself in my first hip hop dance class. As soon as I took my dance class, I fell in love with it. I knew there was nothing else I wanted to do. I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna try my hardest and I'm gonna get it. I trained for like 20 to 30 hours a week growing up from fourth grade all the way through high school. I can't leave out the fact that about age 12 to 13, Harry, yes, the real thing you now know. I was on Hip Hop Perry. After that experience was when I really fell in love with just being in the entertainment industry. Like doing what I loved and getting paid to do it really set the tone for me. So fast forward, I moved to LA. Straight out of high school at 18, I worked three restaurant jobs and taught dance class to pay my bills and was actually dropped by my dance agency about six months prior to getting the one yes that changed my life forever, which was to tour with Beyonce on the Formation World Tour. So Beyonce tour really opened the floodgates for me. I went on to do award shows and commercials and music videos and I worked with a plethora of artists after that. To have experienced, you know, those caliber of artists as a dancer really set me up for what I'm doing now. So the Seesaw collaboration with Sweetie jumping on the record, it was actually the only way I like it to be, super organic. She had pulled up and I was playing music. And you know where we're from, we'd be like, yo, this slaps. So she heard it and she was like, bruh, this slaps. You gotta send it to me so I can hear it in the car. Anyone who knows, you know, is in music, you don't know if it slaps until you hear it in the car. She FaceTimed me from the studio with a verse and was like, surprise, I jumped on the record, we're putting it on the project. And it really, really catapulted things for me and, and forced me to, to realize that I, I could do this music thing. Two things I always have in my bag is lip gloss and perfume. Gotta smell good and the lips gotta be shining at all times. I am inspired by many, but influenced by a few. Aaliyah is one of the top ones for me. I'm inspired by Aaliyah because she was charismatic and she was tasteful, she was classy, and I feel like she, she was a breath of fresh air to the game. Uh, Janet Jackson is another undeniable one. She was one of the first artists that I felt like had a really, really strong dance background. And when she merged that dance background with music, she was unstoppable and went on to be one of the biggest entertainers in the world. I'm in the studio now working on my EP. I want to make sure that my first body of work is as amazing as possible, you know, from songwriting to production to the visuals. So right now I'm working on polishing those things up so that I can give the world an incredible body of work. My go-to snack is Boom Chicka Pop, the purple bag. It's amazing. I can't even buy it because it doesn't contribute to my body goals, but when I can cheat, I'm, I'm grabbing a Boom Chicka Pop bag. Big, I wanted it to be my ambitious record. I wanted it to be my kick the door down record, and I really wanted it to show my versatility as an artist. I don't want to be boxed in. I sing, I do rap, I do it all. I do whatever I need to do on the record. And Big came about just being in the studio like, yo, like, I just want everything big. What, what does that mean? What can we talk about? Don't compare me to nobody. Too much in this shit. I'm a look. I don't even need a caption on a picture. I was telling one of my friends about, you know, what I wanted to do with the video and, and you know, the Kentucky Derby inspired world where we bring some of the black neighborhood culture to the Kentucky Derby. And she was like, bro, you have to put the Compton Cowboys in it. That's, that's the missing piece. That's what we need. Oh, it's incredible. And I just wanted to give people another anthem that they could bump about, you know, being ambitious and going for everything that you want and not letting people play with you. My top three singers of all time, Lauryn Hill, Aaliyah, and Queen Bee. Sisterhood is important to me, especially in this industry that I'm in, because it's competitive being a woman, you know, it's looks, it's, it's, it's everything. So to have 
a sister that you can count on, that you can lean on, that's, you know, someone that believes and supports in your vision the same way you do yours is, I think, an undeniable feeling. I'm super thankful to the sisters in the industry that I have, the Victoria Monets, the Sweeties. You know, you guys mean a lot to me and I'm, I'm really thankful to have had your guys' support along my journey. Being an iHeartRadio On The Verge artist is truly humbling. I'm honored to have the support and uh, to be a part of an incredible roster of women. You know, when you get chills is when you feel something, when something touches your soul. So as long as I'm living, I'm gonna do what I can to try to give people that same feeling and, and make people feel connected to what I'm doing. Y'all aren't ready for what I have coming. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.